Are you comfortable signing transactions on MetaMask having no idea what's actually written in the contract that you're signing? Do you know that millions have been lost from people signing transactions on MetaMask that have hidden transactions behind them that are also signed? And these come from phishing websites and dodgy contracts. Well, now you don't have to worry about that because there is an extension that explains in plain English exactly what it is that you're signing every time you try and sign a transaction with your MetaMask wallet on Ethereum. So this extension is the Fire extension and it's basically a free extension, a free plugin that you can add to your browser bar. And once you add this to your browser bar, you do not need to connect it to your wallet. You don't need to do absolutely anything. So let's just read through on the website what it says here. Fire is a free extension that simulates Web3 transactions showing you exactly what will enter and exit your wallet before you sign the contract, all under the control with your current wallet. So let's scroll down here on their website and we can see exactly what happens. So protect your assets from being stolen. And as I said there in the introduction, millions have been lost, NFTs have been lost because people are signing contracts and they don't know when they sign in MetaMask what it is they're actually really signing and they're just trusting the transactions. So what this will do is tell you the assets that are going out and the assets that are going in. So you actually understand what it is that you're signing. And here's a perfect example. So it shows here the assets out and it shows here the assets in. So in this case, they're swapping Ethereum, 0.1 Ethereum for some DAI and they're also paying a gas fee. So how does it work? Well, it's really, really simple. And you can see here it in play in this little screenshot. So first of all, you download the Fire extension and I'm gonna put a link to this website, directly to this website in the comments below this video. The Fire extension then catches the signature request from your browser or runs a simulation and it shows the results. And then if everything looks good, then you sign the transaction using your wallet. So you wait to see what this is and then you can go ahead and you can sign the transaction. Now you can see fire in action with this Mint the Fire NFT and I'm gonna show you that now. So when you click on this, this brings to mintjoinfire.xyz and this is a website where you can test, you can mint an NFT and you can test exactly how this transaction is going to look in your wallet. Now, first it says, make sure you have the Fire extension installed. So you need to install this before you select the mint button. Now what we want to do is try and find the fire NFT. And if you find the fire NFT, you should mint the fire NFT, but you're not always going to find it and you can get dodgy ones. So let's click here. And when we've clicked here, it's telling us that the NFT that we have found is not the fire NFT, it's the wrecked NFT. Now what's gonna happen? Assets out. I'm gonna spend 0 0.001 in gas fees and that's going to the validators and the validators only. So there's no Ethereum going to anybody else for this transaction. And in return for this, I will get assets in. And this shows us here the wrecked NFT, where it's coming from and the address that it's coming to. Now let's say you come across a malicious contract. They do ask you to report these and say what the malicious contract is trying to do. So that way they have better data and more data to work on to continuously improve their tool. So let's reject this transaction because we don't want the wrecked NFT and let's try another one. This time we got the fire NFT. Now we can see the gas price is a little bit more expensive, but it's basically gas that we're paying that goes to the validators and the asset in is this NFT which is coming into our wallet. So because this is what we want we could then go ahead and if we wanted to mint it we can go ahead and confirm and we can mint this NFT. So you can try this yourself by just adding the extension and then just minting one of these NFTs. Now there's plenty of these NFTs for you to play with. You get 
unlimited credits. I'm going to just reject that again to show you that you can continue picking no matter how many wrecks you get until you find the fire one. And then if you want to go ahead and mint it and have it in your wallet to prove you're an early adopter of this, then go ahead. So no longer do you have to rely on this data here and not understanding what this data means because this gives us the exact meaning of what's happening in the contract. Now I'm gonna show you this with a, a transaction on Uniswap. So let's say on Uniswap, I want to swap some of my kudos for my ETH. So first of all, what I need to do is approve the use of kudos. So this is telling us here that we are giving infinite approval to this contract of our kudos token. Now, when we make this transaction, MetaMask has improved their functionality and we can put a cap spend on this. So let me say our, my cap spend is 150 and then I can say next. If I approve this, then I can only ever spend 150 kudos at once under that approval. Now, you will have seen before in the past that I suggest that you revoke permissions. And if you haven't seen that video, at the end of this video, I will give you a link to it. So let's just reject this now for the moment. And I'm going to go in the opposite direction. And this time I am going to buy some kudos with some Ethereum. So I'm going to say swap and I'm going to say confirm swap. And we get over here, we see that we have two different amounts. We have a gas amount, we have a total amount, but we've got no idea what it is we're actually getting. So now with this fire extension, we can see the assets out and the assets out is going to be less than 0 0.001 of a transfer to Uniswap. And then I'm also going to pay gas fees. And in return for that, I'm gonna get 156.362 kudos tokens back into my wallet. Now, I don't want to make that purchase at the moment. I just was using that as an example to show you how the fire extension works. So I did mention the video on revoke and revoking permissions. And if you click this link there on the screen now, you'll be able to access that video directly. And otherwise, if you enjoyed this or found this value, I hope that you'll give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.